Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ed with Aquascape. I am going back to my roots and I want to tell you a little bit of a story about a man named Ed. I want to show you where my journey started, where it has taken me, and where it's going to be going. Like forests, like rivers, everything has a succession. And my succession is always changing. Growing up in the lakes and rivers and streams in the southwest suburbs of Chicago, I would spend hours and hours exploring the natural forests. I would spend even more time in the water because that's where the life was happening. So that's where I would find frogs, snakes, turtles, fish, all types of cool stuff, little aquatic insects and things like that. That just captured my imagination and my attention. I'd collect them, I'd bring them home, I would study them. I love that stuff, which is what brought me to get a degree in zoology. Once I started getting into zoology, I soon realized that it was ecology and more specifically limnology that piqued my interest. Limnology is the study of freshwater water ecosystems and what's kind of unique about limnology and ecology in general is both of those disciplines require you to understand all elements of nature. You have to study geology, geography, chemistry, water chemistry, the biology, the plant material, all these different things that are associated to truly understand it. And that's really what I love. I love talking about how all these different things kind of work together symbiotically to create a unique ecosystem. And I love to replicate those things. So I got a job in a local laboratory as right after my degree, I was doing hazardous waste analysis, water quality analysis and things like that. I quickly realized I'm like, I'm a field person. I need to be out in the wild. I need to be truly understanding the biological world. So I started looking for other jobs. My wife, Ellen, my wonderful wife, Ellen, 28 years marriage now, she found a talk at a local public library about a company called Aquascape. It was talking about backyard ponds and waterfalls and ecosystems. I was blown away by it. What I was blown away by was the message. And the message still rings true to me today. It's uh, work with mother nature, not against her. Ended up getting a job with them and now I have been there for 26 years. I came to Aquascape with a good solid understanding of ecosystems, of water quality, of lakes, rivers, streams, about how they function, why they function, all the different components. And I started putting it to work for us. We started doing build a pond days. We started doing classroom seminars. With this education, I had to become a teacher. I had to become a trainer. I actually had to become a writer as well. We were doing articles. We started to put together all the different information and started to document all the different things. I started creating creating different formulas for how to figure out how much rock was necessary for a pond, the necessary flow rates to create a waterfall, the necessary flow rate for proper biological filtration, how many plants you would put in, what was the stocking rate of the pond. So all these different things really had to come together in order to make that perfect recipe. So it's not just haphazard. It was years of research and development to create all this stuff. So after we did the skimmers and biofalls and things like that, I started playing around with bigger stuff because my background is lakes, rivers, streams, big stuff. I started playing around with how could we filter bigger ponds? How could we handle stormwater? How could we handle all the retention ponds? So some of my favorite projects actually have to do with stormwater management because I could manipulate and control using kind of biomimicry techniques to replicate natural ecosystems. Cleaning that water, detoxifying it, pulling out the heavy metals and the toxins out of the water, creating beautiful clean water that it also will support life. So it's not sterilized, it's living water. When I go back to look at these projects, plant life is unbelievable. It is growing like crazy. The organisms living inside, we have frogs, we have turtles, we have dragonflies, we have these specific indicator species that are telling me that the water quality is really, really high. And that's kind of my goal. We have to learn to protect our environment if we want to have it for future generations. Utilizing rainwater instead of treating it as a liability that you just want to push it away and just get rid of it as quickly as possible. I want to bring it in. I want to celebrate that water. I want to turn it into something beautiful and something alive. That's the type of stuff that excites me. But it also connects people with all of that water, which is really the bigger picture. And that's where the education comes into play. But the world is changing right now. It's time to keep up with the times, basically. So we kind of need to shift gears a little bit. We are creating a new vlog. I've been a part of Greg Woodstock, the Pond Guy. I've been a part of Aquascape Inc., the corporate vlog. I've been a part of Team Aquascape. But now the next one is Ed Ballou, the Pond Professor. Ha 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 ha!
So this is kind of cool, kind of exciting. As the pond professor, I'm gonna talk all about water and I'm gonna talk about stormwater management. I'm gonna break things down to the minutest of details. I wanna teach people all those details that 26 years of experience has done for me around the world. Water is the most important compound on planet Earth, not even debatable. All of us would die very, very quickly without it. H2O is water, obviously, right? Two hydrogens, one oxygen. H2O also stands for homes to oceans, something that I created. If you could teach somebody how to properly care for and understand a backyard water garden, they will be able to understand what happens on the entire watershed all the way down to the ocean, which is the most important thing on planet Earth. When we talk about sustainability, when we talk about doing things for future generations and protecting the environment, it starts at home by having a little poundless waterfall, by having a rainwater capture system, by having a small ecosystem pond, even a patio bowl. You could understand and appreciate what's happening and living inside of that. Because nature is unbelievable. We just have to sit down, slow down, take time to digest it, look at it, and understand it. So I hope all of you subscribe to Ed the Pond Professor channel and you're going to start sharing this content with your customers as well as the communities, as well as friends and relatives. Anybody should be everybody in the world because everybody needs to understand our environment a little bit better. I look forward to seeing y'all in the future. Have a great day.